I'm Tyler Bronski. I'm with Michael Krauss, the New Britain Bees. Now, Michael, you began your career actually playing in the Pan Am game. Something really exciting for you at a young age with Baseball Canada. You guys played in Mexico and actually won uh, the gold medal. So for you at a young age, how much excitement was that to be a part of that team and just to accomplish something so great like that? Um, I, I think it was uh, Canada's first ever gold medal yeah, really? won for, uh, for the country. Um, it, it was awesome. Uh, especially to be able to face Team USA in the final yeah. and beat them. It was a really good experience. And coming from low A that year, I believe, yeah, low A, I joined that team. So I got to see a lot of, you know, good pitching, double A, triple A type stuff and uh, kind of helped me with going forward. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Now, you played for the Toronto Blue Jays organization for seven years, reached double A. Who would you say are some of your teammates there that you kind of became the closest with that you really, you know, bonded well over there? Uh, the, another guy in this league, actually, the first baseman for Lancaster, okay. K Casey yeah. Hobson. He was drafted in 09, awesome. and we played every single year together going forward. Uh, uh, another one would be Jack Murphy. He's AAA right now with the Dodgers. Um, and then Jake Marizic, me and him uh, were roommates for, shoot, from 2010 all the way through 2014. Yeah. So, I mean, those are some of the guys that, you know, have bonded well throughout the, my minor league career. Yeah, for sure. Now, throughout your career, people have labeled you as like a five-tool player in a sense, but I think your speed is something that really separates you from other players. Is there a technique out there when you're on the base pass that, um, you know, makes you so effective? Um, I mean, I try to always think three or four three, four, five moves ahead, you know, so if that if that play happens, then I'm ready for it. Um, also, you know, I, I want to try to get to top speed as quick as I can, so I, I, I accomplish that by my off-season work yeah. with running track and whatnot, so I can, you know, bring it out here on the baseball field. Um, as you can see, like, even guys faster than me, speed really kills, so if I, if I can, if I can get on base and, and they have that same thought process with me on the base, and then my, the, the guy sitting behind me, they're going to get a little bit more fastballs and they're going to stay away from the curveballs in the dirt so it just it just helps the whole inning all together absolutely now uh this uh this march you actually got to experience being on team canada a little bit and one of your guys exhibition games was against the toronto blue jays in dunedin was that a little um you know almost like deja vu for you to be back in dunedin and you've been out of a philly ball for a year so kind of just to be on that other side play against the Blue Jays this time in a place you've played a lot in your career in Dunedin? Um, yeah, I mean, I saw a lot of guys that uh, I had played with in the past and some of the coaches too, yeah. and never been on the other side of that because uh -huh. I spent my whole career with the Jays. <laughs> so it was, it was a little bit different. Also, it was good to be back and see some of the guys that I you know, played with yeah. growing up. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then uh, first round of the Classic, you guys were against USA yeah. in uh, – Marlins Park, so kind of like kind of a little different feel than the Atlantic League, you know, a like, like a little big league experience yeah. kind of feeling there. So, like, can you have you been able to reflect on that experience yet? Just like what that experience like to be at Marlins Park against some of the best as well. Um, being that our round was in Miami and it was very Latin based, and we had Dominican and Colombia in our pool, um, it was unbelievable. I think we had thirty-five thousand one night wow. against. Dominican to open up and then we had 33 the next the next afternoon against Colombia and then I think we had the lowest re attendance with the team USA but it was it was unlike any ball game um, it was playoff atmosphere it was pitch by pitch it was all the fans were taking no plays off no pitch off so the adrenaline was is constantly running through your veins and you could feel it once you got to the ballpark you know as soon as you got into the ballpark for BP it was just you were up you were ready you know it was it's a crazy experience it's something that I want to relive again for sure oh yeah definitely now uh, last year you began your first year your first year in the Atlantic League you played with the Lancaster Barnstormers to begin the year the Barnstormers at the time kind of seemed like they had a lot of outfielders, so were you anticipating a trade at all coming, and do you think that trade kind of benefited both parties in the in the end? Uh, I wasn't really thinking I was going to get traded, um, mm. but we had we had some guys come in um, with some big league time, Sean Halton, Logan yeah. Schaefer, and um, you know Butch Hobson's a great manager, and I guess he told those guys that they were going to get some more time. Him knowing, him being good friends with Stan Clyburn, yeah. you know, allowed me to come over here and play every single day. Yeah. And then another one of our uh, guys out there, Travis Witherspoon, yeah. got the chance to go to York and oh, play yeah. every day. So it was it was a trade that benefited both teams, every player. Mm -hmm. 
it allowed you know three more outfielders to play every single day and that's and that's that's the goal of this league and butch knows that and, and stan knows that so yeah it worked out well yeah, definitely for sure final question for you mike um i know this is your second year with the new Brickton bees You've seen players in this league kind of get picked up all the time. You guys had Casey Coleman picked up earlier this year. How hopeful are you that you could be the next guy, you know, getting out of here, whether it's midseason or after this year? I mean, I would love to. I mean, I know my, my tools can play at the next level into the big leagues for sure. I'm confident with my game. So I'm going to just keep plugging away, you know, stay healthy, get in that cold toe when I start getting sore, <laughs> and, then go, and then go from there. I mean, that's all you can, that's all you can control. You just got to control what you can control. Have fun with it, and uh, I see where it goes. Yeah, absolutely, Mike. Well, thank you so much. All the best to you, man. Appreciate it.